When it comes to defense innovation, America doesn't just lead the pack. It builds an entirely different league that most competitors can't even see. While other nations are busy trying to copy yesterday's breakthroughs, the United States military is already living in tomorrow, deploying technologies that transform science fiction into battlefield reality faster than adversaries can even react. From weapons that strike at the speed of light to ships that roam the seas without a single crew member on board, these seven systems show why America's edge isn't about throwing money at the problems, about thinking so far ahead that by the time enemies realize what happened, the game has already changed. And in this video, we're breaking down exactly how these breakthroughs prove America is operating on a level the rest of the world can only dream of reaching. Naval warfare just entered the lightning age. When USS Preble fired its Helios laser system during 2024 testing, that streak of white light cutting through the sky wasn't just destroying a drone. It was vaporizing every assumption about how ships defend themselves at sea. For decades, naval vessels relied on close-in weapon systems that spray thousands of rounds, hoping to hit fast-moving threats. But here's the brutal reality. Ammunition runs out, barrels overheat, and every shot costs serious money. Meanwhile, enemies started deploying drone swarms that turned traditional defenses into expensive fireworks shows. So the Navy did what America does best. They completely rewrote the rules. The high-energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance system, delivered by Lockheed Martin in August 2022, represents the first tactical laser weapon integrated into existing naval vessels. Helios transforms electricity into focused destruction. The 60-kilowatt system channels more power than most small towns use, directing that energy into a beam that travels at 186,000 miles per second. That's the speed of light itself, folks. The system tracks incoming threats with advanced sensors, then delivers precise energy bursts that either fry electronics or physically destroy targets. No bullets, no explosions, just pure energy doing the job with surgical precision. Ever wondered what it feels like to operate a weapon that harnesses the power of lightning but delivers it silently? The Navy needed Helios because modern warfare throws cheap threats at expensive defenses. Why spend a million-dollar missile to stop a thousand-dollar drone when you can eliminate it for the cost of a few gallons of diesel fuel? It's like bringing a financial nuclear option to a spending war. During fiscal year 2024, Helios successfully destroyed aerial drones in live-fire testing, proving the technology works in real combat conditions. Unlike conventional weapons that take time to reach targets, Helios eliminates threats instantaneously. While a traditional missile might need 30 seconds to intercept a drone, Helios destroys that same target before you can blink. This system fundamentally changes naval engagement mathematics. Enemy forces can no longer overwhelm defenses with cheap, numerous threats when every attack gets countered instantly. But what happens when enemies take away your navigation tools? That's where our next breakthrough comes in. What happens when enemies jam every GPS satellite and your billion-dollar military equipment becomes completely lost? Most armies would panic. America turned to quantum physics. GPS has guided military operations since the 1990s, but it has a fatal flaw. Jam the signals or destroy the satellites and entire fleets go blind. In 2024 alone, more than 50,000 GPS interference incidents were recorded in conflict zones, proving that depending on satellites means leaving yourself open to disaster. That is exactly why Russia and China poured resources into GPS jamming technology. They believed disrupting American satellite navigation would even the odds. They were wrong. Did they really think America would not have a backup plan? Boeing and Aosense completed the world's first quantum navigation flight test in 2024, showing four hours of GPS-free flight with precision equal to satellite systems. These quantum sensors measure movement by studying atoms cooled close to absolute zero. When atoms act like waves, they expose details about acceleration and rotation with stunning accuracy. No satellites are needed. During the 2024 testing phase, quantum sensors delivered positioning accuracy 111 times greater than traditional systems when GPS was unavailable. That is not a small improvement. That is a revolutionary leap that makes American forces true independent navigators. Enemy forces can jam every satellite in orbit, but U.S. units will still know exactly where they are. And speaking of units that know their location, what about ships that no longer need human crews at all? Naval warfare just went full autopilot. 
when USS Mariner and USS Ranger traveled more than 46,000 nautical miles across the Pacific during 2024 testing, they proved unmanned ships are no longer an experiment. They showed the Navy that the future sails without crews. Traditional naval missions depended on large crews to run complicated systems. But people bring vulnerabilities. They need food, sleep, and constant protection. Under pressure, they make mistakes. And the most critical weakness is the cost of human life. Losing a ship means losing lives, and that risk shapes every decision in battle. The Ghost Fleet Overlord program is America's solution. It features four autonomous vessels, including the Vanguard, launched in May 2024. These ships navigate, think, and execute missions independently. Each one carries the decision-making power of a destroyer captain, but avoids the limitations of human error, fatigue, or fear. By January 2024, Ghost Fleet ships had already completed their first extended Pacific deployment. They covered more than 46,000 nautical miles while taking part in multiple fleet exercises. Crewed ships need regular stops for supplies and rotation. These unmanned vessels sail for months at a time, limited only by fuel and mechanical upkeep. This technology changes naval strategy entirely. Commanders can now take risks once considered unthinkable, want to test enemy defenses, send autonomous ships, need to patrol dangerous waters? Let these vessels handle the mission. The Ghost Fleet program allows leaders to act on strategy instead of being restricted by human vulnerability. But if unmanned ships impress you, wait until you see how AI is transforming actual combat decisions. Modern combat moves faster than human thought. When threats approach at hypersonic speeds, waiting for human authorization means accepting destruction. That's why artificial intelligence started making kill decisions in microseconds. Traditional warfare depended on human judgment for targeting and engagement decisions, but human reaction times averaged 250 milliseconds. Meanwhile, AI systems process information and make tactical decisions in microseconds, thousands of times faster than human comprehension. Can you even imagine processing battlefield information at speeds that make human reflexes look like slow motion? Lethal autonomous weapon systems use machine learning algorithms trained on millions of combat scenarios to identify and engage targets without human intervention. These AI warriors study every battle in history and apply those lessons in real-time combat. The systems analyze sensor data, identify legitimate military targets, and execute engagement decisions based on predetermined parameters, working faster than human thought while maintaining consistency under stress. The Pentagon updated DoD Directive 3000.09 in 2024, establishing new oversight procedures for autonomous weapons while acknowledging their operational necessity. Unlike human-operated weapons requiring communication links and operator commands, autonomous systems eliminate delay between threat detection and response. While humans might take 5 to 10 seconds to engage targets, AI responds instantly. In a battlefield where microseconds determine survival, which system would you want protecting American forces? But even the smartest AI needs platforms to deliver its firepower, and they don't get more advanced than our next weapon. When the second B-21 Raider took flight on September 11, 2025, that wasn't just another test flight. It was the moment America doubled its sixth-generation bomber capability and accelerated the future of strategic warfare. The Air Force has relied on B-2 Spirit stealth bombers since 1997, but that design reflects 1980s technology. Modern radar systems steadily eroded the B-2's stealth advantage, while maintenance costs exploded to over $44 billion annually for just 19 aircraft. The B-21 Raider, built by Northrop Grumman under a $21.4 billion development contract, represents a fundamental reimagining of stealth aircraft design incorporating revolutionary materials and adaptive stealth capabilities. This sixth-generation bomber functions as a flying ghost equipped with materials and systems that adapt to different radar frequencies in real time. The B-21 doesn't just avoid detection, it actively confuses enemy sensors. How do you shoot down what your radar can't even agree exists? The first B-21 conducted its maiden flight on November 10, 2023, with the second aircraft flying September 11, 2025. Compared to the B-2's static stealth design, the B-21's adaptive systems modify stealth characteristics based on specific threats encountered. It's stealth technology that evolves during each mission. Currently, 
Two B-21s conduct flight testing at Edwards Air Force Base with plans for at least 100 aircraft entering service in the early 2030s. The program progresses faster than most major defense acquisitions, ensuring America maintains its ability to strike any target worldwide regardless of enemy defenses. But sometimes, you need weapons that can hit targets even faster. Much, much faster. April 24, 2025 marked a turning point in modern warfare when the Army officially named its hypersonic weapon Dark Eagle. And by December 12, 2024, successful testing proved this weapon could rewrite the rules of global strike operations. Traditional ballistic missiles follow predictable arcs that radar systems track from launch to impact, giving defenders precious minutes to calculate trajectories and deploy countermeasures. In military terms, predictability equals vulnerability and eventual obsolescence. The Army's long-range hypersonic weapon, officially named Dark Eagle on April 24, 2025, combines a two-stage booster with the common hypersonic glide body to create weapons that maneuver unpredictably while traveling faster than most aircraft can detect. Dark Eagle operates by launching the glide body to extreme altitude and speed, then releasing it to maneuver toward targets at speeds exceeding Mach 5. The weapon changes direction multiple times during flight, making interception calculations impossible. How do you defend against something faster than your sensors can track and smarter than your prediction algorithms? On December 12, 2024, Dark Eagle completed a successful end-to-end -end flight test at Cape Canaveral, demonstrating the system's technical readiness for operational deployment. Currently, the first Dark Eagle battery will deploy with the first multi-domain task force by September 2025, following successful completion of testing requirements and technical validation. But what happens when America's enemies develop their own hypersonic missiles? We've already solved that problem too. September 25th. 2024 changed hypersonic warfare forever when Northrop Grumman won the contract to build America's first hypersonic missile killer, proving that in the arms race between sword and shield, America masters both simultaneously. Traditional missile defense systems like Patriot and THAAD were designed for ballistic missiles following predictable trajectories, but hypersonic weapons operate differently. They glide through the atmosphere, maneuvering unpredictably while traveling at impossible speeds. The Glide Phase Interceptor, developed by Northrop Grumman under a $541 million contract awarded November 2024, represents the world's first viable defense against maneuvering hypersonic threats. GPI works by intercepting hypersonic weapons during their glide phase, when they're maneuvering toward targets but haven't reached maximum velocity. It's intercepting bullets that change direction while traveling faster than sound. Northrop Grumman's selection in September 2024 followed successful technology demonstrations, proving GPI can engage maneuvering hypersonic targets across multiple altitude ranges while integrating with existing Aegis systems. Currently, GPI development targets initial operational capability by 2029 with integration aboard Aegis destroyers and Aegis ashore installations protecting critical infrastructure and forward deployed forces. Without effective defenses, hypersonic weapons could destabilize global security by providing first strike advantages to aggressive nations. GPI maintains strategic balance in the hypersonic age by giving America both sword and shield capabilities. Can you imagine the frustration of America's adversaries when they realize their supposed invincible weapons can be shot down? These seven technologies prove that America's defense innovation doesn't just stay ahead of threats, it creates whole new categories of warfare that competitors can't even process yet. From laser weapons with endless firing capacity to quantum navigation that can't be jammed, each breakthrough answers problems that most militaries haven't even realized exist. While rivals are busy chasing yesterday's victories, the United States is already fielding tomorrow's solutions. That's the real advantage. Not just better tools, but a level of innovation so advanced, it feels almost supernatural to everyone else. This isn't simple superiority, it's technological dominance, redefining how nations think about strength, deterrence, and security in the modern era.